So we're here in the Morian Hall of Paleontology with the fossilized skin of our Triceratops, Lane. One of the things that's come up has been this hypothesis that the Triceratops may have actually had quills, or these structures sort of analogous to quills, almost like the central portion of a feather. Looking at the fossilized skin just here, you'll notice on several of these scales here, sort of an ornamented peak. And if we move down to the negative impressions here, the corresponding areas to those scales often have a central depression. Probably some better examples just a little further down to our left here. An ideal example would be that one just there. Now there has been evidence from some really well-preserved ancestors of the Triceratops in China by the name of Cetacosaurs that seem to show coming off of the tail these long bristle-like structures that had been compared to quills or the sort of the central portion of a feather, which is sort of where the idea or the hypothesis is that those dimples may represent the uh, sort of loci or the, the site where those quills were coming out. Now, this isn't a universally accepted hypothesis. This is still somewhat controversial. Some folks that think that those are merely ornamented scales. We even had some folks propose that those may be sort of like the uh, keratinous scoot on the outside of a turtle. Now, I should mention that when it comes to things like those keratinous scoots on turtles or on crocodiles, those have a corresponding bony structure within the skin called an osteoderm, which is something we don't see evidence of here in Lane. So I'm not necessarily in favor of the hypothesis that these represent keratinous scoots, but there is still, of course, the possibility that these are some sort of highly ornamented scale that might not be the source of a, or the center of a quill. Could they be battle wounds? Battle ones would be somewhat unlikely. These don't seem to show any sort of trauma. They're very regular and not in any sort of way that would match up as a pattern to the claws or the teeth of another animal. I don't think they're battle wounds because of how symmetrical yeah, they yeah. are within each now, of scale. course, teeth can have their own sort of symmetry, but they would be a lot more closely spaced than what we're seeing on the skin just here. These are pretty widely spaced. And they even seem to line up along the animal into a specific sort of pattern on its back, but that's something that is currently undergoing research. Now, there is some suggestion that the skin here of Lane may show some degree of decomposition because we do have things like just here, ossified tendons that appear to be coming through the skin, uh, which may be represented or may be uh, related to the decomposition of the animal, sort of how the, uh, the skin was breaking apart as it, as it decayed. I'm Colin Diggins, the paleontology lab manager here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Thanks so much for visiting.